Hello and welcome to The Baby Doctor with me, Bernice Abubeidu Lanta. So the baby is forming nicely. The leg is forming nicely. The one, the one of my favorites is the one that they, when the baby is having hiccups, then they pull the thread of the napkin and put it on <laughs> their head here. Oh, just a shot of whiskey on the child's head. You know, it will kill the worms and, worms. you know. Yeah, but all these milk right. babies, a bundle of joy for all families. And the objective of prenatal care is to anticipate problems and prevent problems. Other people who are born naturally without the ability to produce eggs or make children. You can always be anything you want, but you cannot always have a child. Welcome you to The Baby Doctor. Your baby doctor provides a guide to your child's healthy life. On this show, we tell you how to keep your baby healthy every day because a healthy child makes a happy family. that all drugs are poisons, but the right dose is what differentiates a poison from a remedy. Did you know that globally more than 11.8 million deaths are recorded each year as a result of drug misuse? Did you also know that most adverse drug events could have been prevented if only you had spoken to your pharmacist? And are you aware that untreated sexually transmitted infection could lead to infertility in the long term? Ask Your Pharmacist is the only health show that brings pharmacists to the discussion to educate you on what that drug does to your body and help you better understand the medical condition and that pill before you swallow it. So join us as we bring you exciting, compelling and didactic health content every week right here on the station. My name is Peggy. My name is Asabia. And I am Kunedu. And, and we, we are, are your hosts. hosts. Ask Your Pharmacist. Stay informed. Stay healthy. Ask Your Pharmacist. Season 3 is proudly brought to you by Dragnet, the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana, Letter Pharmaceuticals, Chango, U School, and the Tema Christian Eye Center. And you're back to Prime Morning. It's time for a good living segment. Uh, before we went on a break, I hinted you on what the conversation is. Uh, we are talking about IVF in vitro fertilization. Now, this entire month happens to be World IVF Month, and today happens to be World IVF Day, KMJ. And so it's spot on. Yeah. This conversation very, very, very is spot on. Very, very necessary. And so get, make sure that you're getting interactive with us. Uh, any questions at all, any misconceptions that you've had, anything you've heard that you're not too sure about in relation to IVF, please start sending in your questions and your messages. And Dr. Nana Henakulabi is here, and he is a fertility specialist, and he's going to have this awesome conversation with us. We are going to learn a lot and it's going to help you and I with our whole misconceptions that we've been having about IVF because apparently a lot of women are beginning to shy away from IVF. Mm. Yes, which is quite sad. And so, yeah, KMJ. Yeah, I mean, earlier this morning I was asking you guys a bit yeah, about it. About it, yeah. It's more or less like my first I'm also going to know <laughs> about it. I was even asking if it was being done here in Ghana. In Ghana, you know, yeah. Right? I was told that, yeah, yeah, it's something that is happening here in Ghana. So I'm excited to actually also learn from this, yeah. you know, and get to know what exactly this is all about. So, yeah, Doc, if, if we can begin, uh, first of all, I, I am even wondering what the IVF is all about, you know. So if you can explain to us what it means. Yes, um, to start away, I need to explain how normal pregnancies okay okay, okay. then from there we sure yes move on first of all for any couple to get themselves in a pregnant situation one the man the so-called sperms must be in top shape so the first item that has to be um, right is to me is the man the sperms okay the second thing is the woman. 
is she producing X? And if she's producing X, what quality, whatever it is, the egg is also very, very essential. The sperm and the egg, they meet in a place called the fallopian tube. Okay. This is on the, you know, attached to the womb in, inside the woman's body. So the sperm and the egg, they meet in that tube and baby fertilization normally occurs in the tube. Fertilization means the sperm and the egg meeting to form, one, to, to form the baby. Mm. That is fertilization. Mm. And normally it occurs in the fallopian tube mm. inside the woman's body. So from the tube, the baby descends and settles in the womb. So these are the four major things we, as clinicians, we look at or we believe that it's essential for all these four things to be okay yeah. for a normal pregnancy to okay. Mm. Unfortunately, of course, if something goes wrong with any of the four, pregnancy may not okay, mm -hmm. won't yeah. okay, not may not okay. Mm. So, um, when we meet any client or any couple, we go into the thorough history to find out if any of the four are okay. Mm -hmm. So if not, we tend to treat or attack where the problem yes. is. And one of the um, options available for us to uh, improve uh, with a couple trying to have a baby, is the so-called IVF. Mm. I in vitro fertilization. Okay. See, that's that's the IVF. That's IVF, in vitro, in vitro fertilization. fertilization. And it's the uh, vitro, it's a, um, a Greek term okay. for plate. Oh. So we are fertilizing the egg and the sperm in a plate. So that is in vitro fertilization. Okay. The so-called test tube that happened some time back. So it, it's not happening. You don't put it in a test tube. In a, we call it a petri dish, where we put this uh, to the, man, the, the sperm and the, and the egg, egg to fertilize in the petri dish. And that itself is IVF in vitro fertilization, or fertilizing the egg outside the woman's body. Mm. Because normally it should be inside, inside of, of it. Mm. So that is IVF. And there are lots of things we can do, uh, add on, and, and it, it, you know, to try and produce eventually what one wants. Okay. okay. So that is more or less like an unnatural way of producing a child. Yes, exactly. What are they thinking not, of mm. right now? Is it is this similar or the same to artificial insemination? IVF, fertilizing the egg. That's what we see, and we see it fertilized, mm. and we follow the fertilized baby. Mm. We watch it in the and oh. in the, uh, for about five days to make sure it's a good quality embryo. The resultant fertilized egg is mm -hmm. called an embryo. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we watch it and then uh, after five days, we take uh, one, two, or whatever we want and place the embryo or embryos inside the womb. Oh. That is an embryo transfer. Mm. So we do an IVF mm. plus embryo transfer. transfer. Wow. What you are asking, mm -hmm. It's a very low technology approach. Okay. Okay. IVF is a very high tech. Right. And apparently, I always call it dance my last stop. <laughs> if, if, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how did you end it? So, dance my last word, the <laughs> IVF is what? He it, said dance my last word. Be <laughs> because the, the, the no, thing is, bad. if we can't help with it, then probably to, to be very difficult. Yeah. Okay. And okay. if you look at it, it's all, it's something, you know, 
eventually we tend to achieve. There are so many parameters in it, so many things, and at the end of it, we try and successfully achieve. Artificial insemination mm. is simply, I described how pregnancy occurs. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need the, the sperm, you need the egg, mm -hmm. you need the tube the where fertilization tube. takes place. Mm. So, what we do with an artificial insemination is we, the eggs are supposed to be okay inside. We help producing more eggs. Mm. And then we take the sperm of the man, clean it up, and inject the sperm okay. into the womb, okay. inseminate inside into the womb. Okay. Mm. And that is the so-called artificial insemination. Okay. And that's it. And okay. that one I said is a low technology yeah. approach because yeah. we won't even know whether pregnancy mm. has not occurred for this reason or that reason. But for IVF, you can see it. we can see, yeah. we know, and mm -hmm. even determine why the pregnancy is not forthcoming. Mm. So artificial insemination is a very simple thing, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, before it's done, all those four parameters yeah. should, should be, be normal. Okay. For some reason, pregnancy is not occurring, and sometimes the doctors say it's unexplained infertility. Right. Look, everything can be explained and mm. it's due to one of these four things. Unfortunately, lack of knowledge, yeah. lack, lack of make us feel that yes, I but you four can yeah. but they, yeah. no. It once it's it's top notch, pregnancy should occur. Mm. Sometimes we do this artificial examination, improve or increase the egg output. Because normally only one egg per month for any woman. Mm -hmm. That's how the normal thing is. But when we stimulate and produce more than one egg, and say three, four, five, six eggs at a time, there are three, four, five times chances of, uh, of getting pregnant yeah. because the egg output is... And then... Uh, just because it, then we do that to improve the, uh, and that's why it's a low tech. Yeah. And then the man's sperm it should also be almost normal mm. to, to use. In, uh, so artificial insemination is, it, it, it's, it's meant for cases which, as I, I described, mm. some call it unexplained and- Okay. But once we do one or two times and it's not working, then mm. we move on more, to the yeah, to okay. advanced okay. high tech okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. okay, so now let's come to after the, an egg is taken out of the woman's body, when the whole IVF, when the process is being done, what can the woman do? How is the preparations on the woman's side like well, for uh, it to be, the embryo to be put back into her womb? That is, if it's successful. Not normally, there should be a normal lifestyle for any woman. Mm. Um, for instance, when I say normal lifestyle, or you you cannot be eating so much and producing so much carbohydrates and becoming mm. so fat. Mm. You cannot be taking foods which do not contain the essential vitamins mm -hmm. and all that. But in, in a, if the woman is in a normal sort of, in a normal lifestyle, that's all that is needed. Some now these days, they are talking of uh, all sorts of immune things and they are taking medications. Yeah. And some yeah. 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 No, that is, that is not it. Mm. Every woman is born at birth having you have a number of eggs hidden in a place called the ovary okay and it's fixed this is a very essential thing that people must know it's fixed the number of ovaries sorry the eggs in an ovary per person is fixed and it's related to 
the family. It's a okay. familiar okay. sort of thing. Okay. So you find that in a particular family, they may be having infertility and it's all related. Oh. In a fa particular family, there is a condition called PCOS, yeah. poly PCOS or whatever, yeah. polycystic ovaries. Mm -hmm. It's familiar. And all these things may impede fertility, which means um, once you know, or you, for any reason you have irregular periods and all that, mm. it has to be sorted out, not to wait until, mm. excuse me, you are in the marriage. Um, and one of the most important things to me, I always talk about is the age of the egg. Okay. You are born with a number of eggs. No addition. Mm. Once you attain 12, 12 in the so-called menarche, the, and you start your period, you shed out uh, at birth a million or something. By that time, it's about uh, 700,000 remaining. And every month, uh, uh, an average of 50 crop up for only one to be yeah. fertilized. So eventually, the egg store is exhausted. Mm -hmm. How old are you? If you are not, you know, going to <laughs> use your fertility uh, process mm. well before you achieve 38, 40, then you are getting yourself into trouble. Wow. So, so age, it's good to give birth early. Age, age, wow. age is the most important factor that you can control. Wow. You can control it. The best age to have a baby mm. is 22. Really? Really? Yes. 22. In that, look, if it's early, like a 15-year-old and, you know, getting a pregnancy and that sort of thing, it's not matured enough, the bones and the joints and yeah. things. Yeah. And other things may not be matured enough mm. and they can run into trouble. Mm. Above 22, as I said, is the best. Uh, and as you age, by 35, your fertility potential drops dramatically. Wow. And by 40, 42, you are done. And the so-called menopause, menopause sets yeah. in. Mm. You see, I remember my mother, I was told, gave birth to me when she was 46. Wow. 46. And if you, with a little that I've said, if you think of it, how did it, was it occurring in those days? Mm -hmm. And 46. And look at me. I think I'm quite intelligent because yes. aging itself produces the same egg. It's, it's kept there for 46 years waiting for me to be born. Mm. Why? Because her eggs were not misused. Oh. Misused means every month she's yeah. producing and having a, a baby. Yeah. And during pregnancy, the period you don't release the eggs when you are pregnant. Yeah. The, the egg pregnancy can't occur during pregnancy. That is super fecundation. It's, mm. it's, it's something which God has made that it can't happen. Mm. So during pregnancy, no release of eggs. Yeah. So all those eggs are stored, mm. which means the message really I want to give is you do not wait until you, you sort out your career and as a woman you should try and as much as possible to um, get in the family way at the right time. Wow. Oh. So, <laughs> so the best time will be from 22 to what, 25 or 30? No, it, 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 look, 35 yeah. It's the limit where, you know, we should aim at, but after that, there's a dramatic drop of fertility. Wow. My goodness. 
Mm. No, no, okay. Yeah. Anyway, viewers, and so we have uh, Dr. <laughs> Nanda Herakolabi, who is a fertility specialist, and we we're talking about IVF. He said quite a number of things, and um, well, I believe that the highlight, mm. as of now, is that the best age to have a child as a woman is between the ages of 22 and 35. After that, it will be quite be different. Nice. Yeah. yeah, about that. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so uh, please get I interactive see. with us and start sending in your questions for Doc. He's here. He will definitely answer them for you. Now, Doc, uh, let's come to, um, let's go back to the IVF. I mean, and um, what type of woman qualifies to get or to opt for IVF? Yes. Um... You see, again, I'm referring us back to the factors which promote, yeah. which means that uh, if anything goes wrong with any other factors, no problem. then we need to mm -hmm. get to the advanced yeah. medical approach. Yeah. Start with the man. It's not only the woman who is... Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Forty percent of all infertility problems is due to the man. Forty mm. percent? Forty out of hundred. Another forty is due to the woman. And then the twenty Eight. remaining, ten percent is shared, but the two of them have problems. And, and the other ten is the so-called unexplained infertility. But so, to be honest, it's shared between the man and the woman. Hmm. Now, you tell me, just mention any pro problem, you know, it will fall in one of those things. So, for instance, if the man has a low sperm count, what do we do? Hmm. People are being given all sorts of medications and things, but with my clinical experience, mm -hmm. it doesn't help very much. Mm -hmm. And you see, if you go for a fertility checkup, they are, uh, you, they, you are asked to do a, um, a sperm analysis, and the outcome, the results are counted in millions, which means a million, half a million sperm surrounds one egg yeah. mm. for only one to enter. Mm -hmm. Just one. That's a struggle, we yeah. need all that. So we, what we do in that scientific um, approach is if we need one sperm, why don't we get that one sperm and in, put it inside the egg? Mm -hmm. So that is called I intra inside the cytoplasm the egg sperm injection xc if you have heard of it before okay icsi so we need to take a sperm and inject into the egg how do we do that unless we do ivf mm -hmm. that is take the egg from the woman mm -hmm. take the sperm, sperm from the man the man outside in the in yeah. a lab setup and inject the sperm into the egg. So we do IVF XC. I told you IVF means a lot. Mm. The first IVF baby born today, uh, the birthday is 25 of, was born out of several tests, manipulation. They got an egg out through, we call it a laparoscope. I was still a, a young doctor. They took it out and then inject, you know, put the man's sperm to it. That time there was no XC, no injection aside, but they put it together and then fertilization occurred. They put it inside the womb. And because the woman had her tubes blocked, because you had blocked it too. Yes. Okay. So if you have blocked okay. tubes, okay. first the sperm, first the uh, tube, the, the tube, third yeah. for the factor. Yeah. So if you have blocked tubes or some problem with the tubes where fertilization can't occur, it means you have to get the egg out mm. and add the sperm to it. 
So then we move on to the egg itself. Sometimes, again, there, there's something wrong. The air quality, the air whatever mm -hmm. is not good. Mm -hmm. For that, we can easily improve it with okay. uh, some medications. Okay. Sometimes you have to control it because it can be very, very tricky. A situation is that PCOS, the, the so-called... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the PCOS. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the egg production. And sometimes, you see, you give a small dose of injection to try and boost up the egg production. Unfortunately, it can blow the woman up. Oh. The tummy becomes whatever, yeah. with fluid, with plenty of uh, eggs and that, that, that. And that can be fatal. That, that is a very serious situation in, right. in what we do. Mm. So what, at the end of it, like a person with that PCOS problem, we have to stimulate. She will produce so much, but we have to go and take all the eggs and retrieve one by one. That all is, the eggs that she has produced. That she has produced. Otherwise, you know, it will be overproduction. Yeah. And that, is, that is very serious. Okay. So you bring all, all the eggs out, out mm -hmm. add sperms to it outside in the test tube. Mm. And that is also IVF, one of the reasons for IVF. And then um, we need one, two, max, three, okay. put back. The rest we can store. We can oh. put it in a, a deep freeze, cryopreservation, and then in future, like whatever, you are 20-something, 30, you, we, we give you, we do that, we go through that situation, put something there, after delivery you come back and take more, which okay. means, yes, there is storage facility and then you can go on, and, and which means you don't have to go through the IVF again. Mm. It, that could be also used for another person, or it has to be the same woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> The, we are getting into the ethics of whatever <laughs> oh, we, are, okay. we are doing. But yes, we, once we do something like that, the embryos, that is the babies yeah. which come out, they are your babies. So we cannot give it to somebody else okay. unless... With your permission. Unless, yes, you tell us, look, I have so many. There are people who can't have eggs who can have sperms and uh, an embryo so therefore you can give it to uh, you know give and it to somebody it. yes but if not we have no business in giving somebody's baby out to somebody else mm. but how does that become the, the another person's baby in terms of genetics and all that <laughs> that's not what <work. laughs> yeah, yes <laughs> IVF or pregnancy, we can do a lot. That is, you don't have eggs for any reason. Say you are 50. Yeah. I currently have a 52-year-old who is pregnant. Mm -hmm. It is going on. And what are the problems? Look at the four things. Mm -hmm. The first thing, sperm. Okay, husband has the sperm. Mm. Second thing, at 50-something or even 40, 38, you may not have the eggs. So we have to get an egg donor. There is also similarly no sperm. So we have to get a sperm donor. donor. And as long as, you know, we are um, the human race, whether you are white or black, for whatever reason, genotypically, you can impregnate. For instance, you, some people have sex with dogs and they won't become pregnant with half man, half dog. Mm -hmm. But human race, yes, you can, it, it, it happens. It doesn't matter what color, what time. Mm. Just like me having a baby with a white exactly. woman. Exactly. But of course, for, for the genetics of pregnancy of the baby, the father, the sperm, the egg. 
So if you get an egg donor, you who carry the baby eventually, the mother may not have the, your genes, genes in the yeah. egg. And it's perfectly normal. So what we do is to search, scrutinize the whole situation <laughs> and try and get a matching donor oh. if you want the egg. Matching donor if you oh, want sperm. to use the sperm. So, but these are very ethical issues. Mm. And then we are very careful. Mm. We don't give somebody to somebody. Yeah. Because the consequences after is yeah. very dire. Yeah. And, and, and now DNA is proving everything. Yeah. And so, yes, we are. But it can be done. Mm. Okay. So, can, can IVF help produce twins, triplets, all that? What did I say before? We produce the babies yes. as many as yeah. we can. Mm -hmm. And then we put one. Hopefully one will develop. If you put two, hopefully two, two will develop. Yeah. But I'm sure you've heard of situations where somebody produces six babies. Yeah. Yes. babies. Yeah. Yes. To, yes. To, to some of us, it's a failed treatment. Oh. How can you carry six babies around? And people are happy with it. In the US, in the Europe and wherever, there is a law. You cannot put more than one. Because if you put two, you are like, likely produce the two. But unfortunately, we don't have that guideline, that, mm. that law. It's not around and people are putting in as many. In our unit, we don't go beyond three. Normally, we offer you, you know, and depends on some situations. Mm. Most unlikely that the pregnancy may occur and all that. So we put maximum three, but no, it's not allowed in most um, advanced civilized countries, you don't know. They, they no, that's a legit it. question though. How can you be carrying six people around? <laughs> you know, it's, it's a, so it's getting <laughs> twins is simple. It's very simple. Very simple. Okay. Recently oh, I had a, okay. a patient who wanted, we call it surrogate, surrogate mm. Sorry, mother. Okay, sorry, same. So she brought a surrogate mother. She had four embryos and he said, I'll take two, let my surrogate take two. Okay. The surrogate, got pregnant twins, herself none. So you, and the oh. same is her own ex. She <sighs> did not get pregnant, but that for a surrogate mother who we primed to accept it at the time that normally it happens, she got pregnant with twins. Now let's come to the preparations of a woman before IVF, before the process the whole thing is that, put back into I mentioned it though. You said about no, that life, was, that lifestyle. Was, that that was, lifestyle, that's that was, it. And no, that's we're looking a, at it. If the before, process is about to begin. Yes, before it happens. It. Do you have to psych yourself up? That, of and course, all of those of things. Of course, you know. that's part of our, you know, the counseling and everything okay. to be done. But um, normally for any woman wanting to have a baby, you should be taking what you, uh, this vitamin called folic acid. That's all we give. Okay. Folic acid as the only so-called vitamin that we, um, it's a long explanation if I have to go into it, but mm. yes, even not for IVF, for any- Is it good for men too? Why not? Okay, go on to static. <laughs> but it, it would affect the reproducting, but the, you know, it's part of the vitamin which helps in blood building and oh, okay. in tissue building and since the baby is going to be uh, formed, the woman needs it. How long does, does the process take? The IVF yes. process. If we see um, a couple, they need IVF, they want IVF, they have agreed, we basically the main preparation is just what i yeah. mentioned mm -hmm. and we also investigate the both 
people, the man and the wife, to see if there is any disease or any condition which may affect the uh, hopeful pregnancy which is coming on. And we do all these investigations. After that, we settle on the IVF. Mm. We have two approaches. One is called the long protocol, and the other is the short protocol. And it's all related to the period, the menses, the menstrual cycle, cycle. of the of woman. the woman. Mm. If, for instance, it's menopausal, we sometimes give something to induce a period to try and get her ready. Apart from that, we go by the uh, periods, and usually, with a long protocol, three weeks after, from the first day of a period, we give an injection. And that injection lasts for about a month. Mm. And once you give that injection, she will get a period in 10 days, one week, 10 days. And the second day of the period is when we start giving injections to induce the eggs to come up. To be honest, the worst thing of IV in IVF is the injection. Mm. Okay. Painful. Uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> both. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Unfortunately, it lasts from the injection 10 to 14 days. Whoa. Daily. So we give you a shot to bring up the eggs. We monitor, check on how the eggs are being produced. And we use what we call ultrasound, vaginal, you know, the probe from yes, down okay. there. Yeah. And that goes very close to the egg producing organ. And so we can see very clearly what it is. Mm. So after about the induction period, which I said last 10 to 14 days, we give an injection just before uh, we go and take the eggs out, about 36 hours before that we give an injection, another type of injection, which gets the eggs ready. So we go and suck out all the eggs. eggs. And the day of suctioning or retrieval of the eggs, we take the man's sperm and add it to the um, the eggs that have been to taken. the eggs that have been taken the same day. Yeah. Usually after about four hours mm. of preparation and all that, and then the next day, fourteen hours after we have put them together. 14 to 16 hours, we check whether they are fused, there is fertilization in the, in the lab. Yeah. And once we see whatever the fertilization, we keep watching them daily mm. and uh, you know, just check and see if they are growing appropriately. And on the fifth day, mm. we take the best out of the lot and, you know, we had already discussed all those things. How many do you want? How much yeah, do you yeah, want? Yeah. You yeah. want twins, so mm. we'll give we you two like that. Mm. And then eventually, fifth day, we put whatever is there inside, inside the womb. Mm. And then, unfortunately, we need to support the pregnancy with more injections. Mm. Okay. It's a little bit painful injection, but... It's very essential in the first few days. Otherwise, you might. Um, and if, now we have all sorts of things, even uh, patch, skin patch, something to insert down there. Injections for a week, weekly injections. There are some things we can insert. All are drugs meant to control, uh, to help the pregnancy process. Mm. And then, two weeks later, after we have 
inserted, inserted yeah. yeah. We check blood for pregnancy tests. Okay. And if it's positive, we can see the strength of the test, the positivity. We call it beta ECG. In fact, once they get into it, they all know these terms. And we see the strength of the, 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 the pregnancy. It can even tell you, oh, this is more than one. Oh, this is mm. very okay. good. Okay. Like that. Okay. We can see. Mm. And then, congratulations everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, with some <coughs> centers, one week later, we do it after two weeks because there's no rush. Just, yeah, uh, you want to give it time. Yes. Okay. After two weeks. Some do it, in fact. It's been recommended. I was brought up on one week, but no. Uh, we do ultrasound on the tummy mm. to check if to check on the baby. We can sometimes even yeah. see the oh. fetal heart, the beat of the heart. Oh. We see the number of babies, in babies developed. We put three and one, three and all three like that, and. Uh, Again, we continue with those medications. For the first three months, or 10 weeks, let's be, of pregnancy, two and a half months, we need to control the, the pregnancy a bit using those injections because of what we did. From the beginning. We, we, so the yeah, injection continues, it doesn't stop. Yeah, it con continues, but it's modified. Okay. We know it's painful, so we yeah. have to mm. find that is some what I wanted yeah. to even ask that. Yeah. How, how does the patient endure <laughs> all of these injections and pains that you know throughout the yeah, period? Yeah, yeah, you, you are not determined. <laughs> ah, to have a baby and, I mean, <laughs> you, are told that, you are told that <laughs> if sometimes, you, you know, you want to stop. I told you you can use the oral okay. yeah. approach, the skin mm. and all that. Mm. But... Of course, the injections are better, best, because it, they enter into the Direct, system. Yeah. Yeah. If you put a pessary there, you can go to the toilet and oh, drop it off. Mm. And all that, and because people are so anxious, they are prepared to go through. But still, there are, we are trying to minimize the amount of shots. Mm. Okay, Doc, so I want to know uh, the, mm. the preparations of the sperm before you, you know, add it to the eggs or yes. the plates. Yes. How is it, how is it, how, how, how is it done? Normally, for any sperm analysis or sperm for treatment, we always advise the clients not to have, not to release the sperms or have sex five days. Okay. okay. Not more, not less. Why? M not more. For instance, you, your husband lives in the US. You are here for one year, no sex. He, she comes in and deposit, brings out uh, the sperms you are most unlikely going to get pregnant from the first few things that you do oh. after a long absence. Why? Because the sperm has 90 days lifespan to live. Being produced in the balls, they live for 90 days. So, and it's, there is daily production. So the top would be dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is why that few, uh, that first exactly. time, that's would have that first, issue. you know, uh, after long absence, yeah. most of the sperms are dead. If, for instance, you give me a sperm analysis, I can read uh, when they do last absence. Okay. Oh. okay. If it's a too frequent act, yeah. having sex all, all the time. Look, the best, the best uh, frequency for sex. Is not more than three times in a week. If you are aiming at having a baby, mm. not more than three times in a week. Or today, yes, tomorrow, no. Tuesday, 
no, three times, and not more than one per day. You cannot have four, six uh, from eight. <laughs> and they are also. <laughs> Look, it's it's. If you want a child, I'm not saying. Yeah, that's if you yes. want a child. Yeah. yeah. So, we ask them to abstain from sex for five days, mm. not less. No more. Not more. Mm. Less because if it repeated means the matured ones have come out. Yeah. And what is coming now would be immature yeah. uh, sperms, and that may not aid pregnancy. So. For men, that is what we tell them. And then the rest is in the lab. They, mm. And we want the collection probably as near the lab as possible because you cannot ask you to do it here and bring it to Medifem. By the time you get there, the sperms are, yeah. yes, are not properly. Um, so again, the lab, so we, for instance, we have a setup in a unit where they are made to give us whatever. And then the rest is with the lab. They add some chemicals, uh, in, uh, ingredients, and spin up and select the best. The, you, you find the best sperms come up. There are techniques where they can obtain the best and then we use it in whatever procedure, in IUI, in inseminations, and in mm. uh, IVF mm. and all that. The same sort of sperm preparation. So yeah. for the man, for the harvesting to take place, the man has to ejaculate? Harvesting of the eggs. No, the, 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 the sperm. sperm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, the yes. Sperm. Unfortunately, it's, it's a, a very... I mean, uncomfortable situation. That would be, that would be very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, and we don't uh, use it after sex, no. It's preferred to masturbate. Mm. You know masturbation? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, Shani. No, it's almost the same thing I'm saying. We have to do that for... This yes. one. I don't know how. Yeah, it's going so to be that, that is the main source of... <laughs> Harvesting the sperm. Harvesting uh, the main source. The main source, mm. which means there could be something else. If we allow sex, the best part of uh, the sperm may be lost during the enthusiasm. Mm. Of. Oh, it, it affects us? Of course. If, if, if you are giving us the sample and the first part is off, you see, I told you the... the 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 sperms sort of they aggregate and go up. Yeah. Some are coming from yeah. be behind, so the best of them will be on top, mm. and then you are not okay to enough to to get it collected. Okay. So it will affect the quality of the sperm. Okay. <sighs> right. So it's time for us to read some comments. There's so many comments wow. that are coming in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So many comments that are coming in, but still get interacting with us on our social media platforms. Our WhatsApp line is active. Get on Facebook and start sending mm. in your comments. Okay, so um, first question, how painful is IVF? How much does it cost? Mm. The painful yeah, it is, but the, 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 yes, the <laughs> pain itself, the initial problem is the injection. Mm. It's uncomfortable. Oh. Some do complain. And then... Um, from there, after injections, you feel uncomfortable. Then the next point where the pain would be when we are going to take the eggs out, the retrieval. Oh, that's the next pain. Yes, but we normally put them to sleep. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. There is, um, we call it a conscious sedation. Uh, <laughs> It's a, 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 some drug which was used by one of these popular singers and eventually lost his life and all that. So, okay, Mike and his story. Yeah. Then, then, fortunately, and, and we use that kind of medication, but it's just for a short 
Okay. Mm. Period. Not and uh, continues exactly. Then, then you it become works addicted. Off. Addicted yeah. to yes. yeah. But no, you just give it uh, titrate, push it a little, and uh, as soon as we finish, they get up you within are, twenty yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back minutes. to normal. Yes. Okay. And uh, so th th that is probably the main. Um, sometimes, especially when you are doing cases on PCOS, mm. yeah, with the expansion, with the, you know, it can be uncomfortable, but that is a, a source of pain. And sometimes we have to, but we manage it. Mm. It's, 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 okay. So it means that with the entire everything. process, in the first four or five months, it's painful, the rest is not? No. Four months, it's like pregnancy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Once we put the things there, the only pain remaining thing is the your injection. injection and okay. within, the injection that you'll be within taking. Within two, three months, yeah. the IVF pregnancy behaves like a normal, normal pregnancy. pregnancy. Oh, okay. okay. So all it's right, not like so you're enjoying reach. the pregnancy with pain at all. No, 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 no. This no. one we're going to do. The you, you, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's read some more comments. Raymond Nyame says, my sister had two operations of fibroids and ectopic, respect, respectively, but the doctors say her two tubes are blocked. How can you help? Can mm. the tube be unblocked? I understand one can donate or sell the eggs or sperms. How true is it? Well, Next one, look. we have good morning. My name is Anita. My friend did the IVF. After the fertilization process, the fertilized egg didn't grow the, the, in the womb, so she had to abort it. Please, what might be the possible cause? Next one, good morning. Thanks for your teaching. Very educative and on point. Please, can I have the man's number? Uh, we'll see if Doc will be okay with that. Next one, it says, at 45, if I want twice how, twice, how much will it cost me? Please... Oh, okay. So twins. At 45, if I want twins, how much will it cost me? Please. In terms of In money. In terms of mm -hmm. money. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how painful is it? Okay, we read that one. How long does it take to do the insemination? Okay, next one. Hello, my husband is diabetic and is not able to erect. Please, can you get a sperm? Interesting. Can we let you okay. answer some of the so, questions? Um, no, we'll, we'll there are quite a lot. Oh, they keep almost, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Good morning, please. I want to find out if it's possible to put two different sperms together that is mix it to fertilize an egg in IVF procedure. Mm. Raman from Nkoko. Hello, good morning. My name is Alice from Eastern Region. Please, I want to ask that does IVF work in any hospital? All right, uh, so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doc. What do you mean? Where, where do I where, where, <laughs> there, <you know? laughs> Okay. Okay, so okay, the so, last so the, one. How much does it cost? In any, any, okay, the cost and then in any hospital, maybe there are specialized hospitals for that. Of course, it can be in any hospital. I am a gynecologist obstetrician. But to be honest, I don't do gyne obstetrics. Gyne is, you know, when you have a fibroid and bleeding. Obstetrics is looking after pregnancy, and, you know. Mm. But uh, it, it's a tedious job to do either a gynae or... Okay. And, but we've sub-specialized to just do IV, uh, I mean, infertility. Okay. So, yes, most gynecologists, most doctors, they'll be able to treat infertility. But when it gets to the the IVF portion, it's it, it's a high technology. Yeah. It needs equipment. It needs, uh, apart from the knowledge, it needs uh, a lot of things to carry on there. So not every hospital can give you that. can give you that service. So where where would you recommend? So we want to hear him <laughs> say it. <laughs> of course, but unfortunately, <laughs> we are not supposed to advertise. Oh, ourselves. Okay. I'm talking to you without. Yeah, you've never uh, mentioned. Uh, okay, uh, now I understand. Just, uh, we, sorry, we are the old fashioned, typical, orthodox doctors. These days, you, you see. Here in the, in the radio, everywhere, doctors, 
call this, call that. No. With our training, we are warned not to advertise ourselves. So, more or less, our clientele, they come just by like reference, mm. by name. Okay, okay. Guys, don't doc, worry, we'll make we'll yeah, force him to leave we'll, his number we'll, here, we'll try, worry. yes. <laughs> but Doc, um, one, one, one of the messages mentioned um, that her husband is diabetic and is not able to erect. How can the sperm be gotten out of uh, over him? Hmm. In a situation like that, what can be done? Normally, um, we have some tablets, uh, some medications, which can boost the libido and whatever up. This, and if we need the sperm, that's a temporary thing that mm. we can do. Give some medications mm. and um, give the right facility, the right environment, mm. and then hopefully they can... Oh, so that's possible? Yes, yes it's possible. Wow. And unfortunately, fortunately, um, there is something a bit more technical. Um, where it, it's not for diabetes or something like that, but uh, we, it's an ejaculator. Okay. We, but it's a special, especially for people who are spinal cord damages okay. and all that. Okay. We have an, a, a, a vibrator which we prepare and set and then Sometimes with uh, general anesthesia, we can ma be made to produce okay. these sperms. There are certain conditions against the, in the man where this thing may not happen. There is a blockage. The men have also tubes which may be blocked. In that case, we go beyond down there we put a needle and suck out oh, some sperms. Okay. And in that case, we, we call it TESA, trans epididema sperm aspiration. Mm. It can be done. And um, because I said, you don't need millions. Yeah. You need just one sperm somewhere to fertilize one egg. So yes, with situations, medical situations like a diabetes and things, of course, when it gets to that stage where it's affecting the peripheral nerves, the mm. diabetic neuropathy, it means the diabetes has not been properly controlled. Okay. Which has to be. Mm. If it's all done properly, then we can give some stimulants to try and bring up the sperms. And once we can lay hands on the sperm, whatever, however slight it is, we use it in an IVF mm. set situation. Okay. All right. So, okay, Doc. Kim Jo, we, this is where we'll have to wrap up. Oh, and, boy. And, <laughs> and then, but it's been very I've, insightful I've, and very I've, educated. I've this. And I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I hope it's that you viewers have also know. learned oh, a yeah, lot in relation to this. So, things. today is World IVF Day. Doc, final words before you go. <sighs> Thank you very much, uh, Joy Prime. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm glad that I've gotten this opportunity to talk to our people. Forget about IVF. Think of fertility. Don't, for the women, don't wait for too long because of your career or something yeah. in order to make your family. Yes, in you between, that. work it out. And then try and have your families at the appropriate time. The best age for pregnancy or having a baby is 22 to 30 plus. I mean, when we talk of the optimum time. So I wish everybody good. How old are you again? Thank good you. Luck and <laughs> Doc, thank you so much for your time and thank you for educating us on IVF and fertility in general. So our guest today uh, is Dr. Nana Henako Labi, who is a fertility specialist with Medifem Hospital. Mm. And so for those of you that would want to visit yeah, him, that's where like you have to go right. to. Yes. Medifem yeah. Hospital, it's, yes. It's Medifem simple. Hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah it's go to yeah. Medifem. Yes. It's, it's all there. Yes. And Doc would definitely attend to you. Doc, have a lovely day. Oh, thank you very much.